Hi Felters and welcome. In today's video we are going to make this fairy and I had a really good time designing them and trying to come up with them and all the fibres that I use are from Heidi Feathers who are the sponsor of today's video and you guys know I've been working with them but I had such fun working with all these fibres. I'm going to talk you all through how to do it. The Angelina fibre for the wings was absolutely amazing. I've never used it before um, but I can thoroughly recommend it and let's talk you through some of the walls and some of the things I used. So Heidi Feathers are a fantastic online shop and they are sponsoring today's video. So this was the shimmer mix and this was what gave the dresses all the lovely shimmer, the colours on the top. Really, really beautiful. This was one of her merino mixes, Serenity mix with some lovely colours that complement the shimmers. This was an alpaca mix that I used for the hairs um, because it's quite good. It's got lots of browns and uh, lighter colours for hair colour. But in the end, with the Red Fairy, I used this lovely Curly Locks. This is Autumn Mix and they're fantastic. And you could definitely get a couple of um, fairy heads out of that. This is a flesh coloured Merino for the wrapping the arms and then a flesh coloured Carded for doing the face, which we'll um, go, all go through. Now, Heidi Feathers also has some really good pipe cleaners now in store there. This is the Angelina Fibre, which I'll show you towards the end how we use that because it's quite particular. And this is amazing. This is paper covered wire in all different gauges. And it's so good because it's a lot easier to wrap. And this is the wire cutters that you can get from Heidi Feathers. And they're very good because they're flat nose. I thoroughly recommend flat nose because you can turn it over and get that really nice flat end. So this is just to show you how the colours go together so well. So we got the reds these are the blues these purples combine really well there's so many combos for these fairies that's a mother of pearl with a pink that's the yellows and I didn't plan this I just got these wools and they all went together the oranges another set of blues you could do about four or five fairies and then that is a black can you imagine that over the purple I think I still might do that one and so those are the colors I've chosen and I was thinking about doing beige hair but in the end, I did the curly locks. I was really pleased with it. So that's all the colours chosen. So take some, I just put core wool inside the head, but you could use your flesh coloured wool if you wanted to. So roll it up really tightly into a ball, as tight as you can, and then start felting it. And guys, I also have to say, I know Heidi Feathers are sponsoring the video, but I have a 10% discount code for you today. So it's going to be in the link below and I'll put it up on the screen towards the end. So I'm really pleased we've got a discount. Um, so roll it up and then felt it a little bit and then put your flesh color over the top. I didn't overly felt the middle bit. We're going to felt it a little bit more in a minute. So, um, Put your flesh colour all the way over. Don't worry about joins. Put those towards the back. The multi-needle tool holder is from Heidi Feathers as well. And it really speeds up your work. So once you put the flesh colour on, just go all the way around it with a single needle and try and get the round ball. And then we're going to spend about, I think, a good 15, 20 minutes going all the way over it and getting it nice and smooth. Because this is going to be the face of your fairy. So you'd like it to be lovely and smooth. And this carded wool is perfect for this. So this one's finished. I've gone all the way around it. Took a short while. Give it a little, little roll round. It's always good when you've done something. Now the one on the left is the one that I did in my smooth finish video. So I'll link that at the end if you want to know how to get the ultimate smooth finish. But I think the uh, pink carded wool is actually quite good and I'm pretty happy. And I've made it a little bit oval shaped there so it's a bit more face shaped. So take a big needle, this is a 36, and create two holes all the way through. Really stab through, you could use an awl, but my needle was fine. So I've got those two holes, and then we're going to take the paper covered wire, which like I said is so good, take the ends and just trim them at an angle, just to make it easier to get your wire in. Fold it in half, and then we're going to push it through the head. Now I researched quite a lot of fairies and how to make them and I like this way because it's quite structurally sound, you know, it's all going to stay together. So put that through and then that little top loop, just leave it a tiny bit loose and that's we're going to put a ribbon through the top. Twist the underneath of it so it's not coming off and then we're going to do the body. So the head was about an inch and a half um, in height and about an inch and a quarter wide. It's up to you, it doesn't have to be exact. 
but just so you know what my measurements are. And then the body is at least two inches down and we're just creating a torso for your fairy. So you've got something solid underneath there. I like to have um, a little bit of a solid body and also we're going to do a little neck. So you're going to create something torso shaped and it doesn't have to be as perfect as the head. So here I am putting the pink flesh colour over the top and then just felt that on multi-needle tool again to speed up your work. It's really, really great. I have the 40 spirals in it, just so you know. Just be a bit careful you don't get your fingers there and create a flat area at the top and then just go all over and felt it and make the waist a bit narrower. It doesn't have to be perfectly felted because it's not going to show that much. And then we're going to put the wires down through the torso. So it's a really solid structure to so create two holes through the torso, really easy to do. And then you're just going to push the wires through. Same thing. And you're going to leave a little bit of a gap just for the neck. And at the bottom, I would twist the wires a couple of times so it's not coming off and then fold them back. These fairies have no legs, so they're nice and easy. They really didn't take me that long to do. Once you've done the head, most of it doesn't take you that long. So I folded them back and under, so it's not coming down. And then just take some of your flesh coloured wool, wrap it round and create a neck. Make sure that the neck is attached to the head and the torso though, so it doesn't slip. I mean, it shouldn't come off anyway, but it just makes it a nice solid structure. So there we go. And we're going to cover the body area with the colour of the dress because otherwise when we put the shoulder bits on, it shows at the sides. So take the colour that you've chosen and I've chosen this lovely, it's not really red, it's oh, I suppose salmon coloured, it's really nice and push it all the way around and then at the back, you're just going to felt it in. Now the back hides a multitude of sins here with the fairies because we're going to put wings on and her hair covers everything up. So just pop it on, check it straight, and that's like the bodice, and then the shoulder bits will go up and over. And we're going to do the arms now. So take your paper-covered wire, which really helps for the arms, and we're going to do a hole all the way through, just down a bit from the top. Push it through. Again, it's, it's really easy to do. And then fold the arms back behind each other so they are solid and they are not going anywhere. And then... We just cover that back bit. I only cover it to keep it secure. You don't have to cover it for looks, but I just like to know that everything will be nice and secure. So just cover it over. That's the arms. And we're going to measure out how long they're going to be with the hands. And we're going to, so it's three and a half either side I did. And we're going to cut just below it because we will wrap the wool to the end and then we will fold it over to secure the wool. So those are not the hands, they are the extra bits. So if you've got carded, you can use carded and wrap it round and felt it on. But I'm going to use the merino and I'll show you how to do it because wrapping is tricky. Um, it just takes time and practice. So make it nice and long and we're going to attach it to the back first, which makes your life a lot easier. Now, this wrapping worked out really, really well. It doesn't always work out brilliantly. <laughs> sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So start wrapping it, keeping it nice and flat and tight. Because you've attached it, you don't have to hold the first um, bit too tightly. And we're going to aim to try and get all the way down to the hand for the first wrapping. Might not happen, but try your hardest. And then keep wrapping and you get tiny little bits all the way to the end. Wrap, wrap, wrap all the way. Keep going all the way around. And then we're going to take the flat nose pliers and we're going to bend that back on itself. And it holds the wool on for you, which is really handy. There you go. Flat nose pliers, nice and flat and tight. That's why they're so useful. And that is wrapped without even felting it. But we're going to have to add some more. And when you add more, sometimes that runs out halfway along. So if it does, just felt it in, take a finer needle, a 40 is much better. And here we are just to show you adding halfway along and we're doing the hand. So if you're adding halfway along, get the tiny little thin bits on first and then wrap very gently. And then for the hand area, we're just going to wrap, wrap, wrap all the way around it. 
and cover up that bend and that's just going to give you a little sort of thick clump it sounds a bit odd but that will give you the hand impression and then just felt it on very gently felt the top bit back so it doesn't slip off the end as well and it shouldn't take much and that's a bend there for the um, wrist and then a little bend for the elbow and they're done so we're going to pop the ribbon in the top now you can use anything you've got you know thread whatever because I want to do it before I do the hair so that's how she's going to hang and so take some of your dress colour and we're going to go from the front to the back over the shoulder nice and easy felt it in so it's nice and secure like I said the back doesn't really show the front has to be low enough to the waist we're going to cover the waist up but it has to be quite low and then take your shimmer colour which just matches so well these colours are really beautiful if you're looking to do fairies and it's got a shimmery sparkle in it and then felt that on and again that's the waist bit nice and low at the front because that will show and then do the same on the other shoulder and you see how the neck and all that it looks fine you didn't have to do the neck really really neatly it just sort of ties in nicely and looks really good and there's the shimmer going over and there's the top bodice done so now we're going to do the dress and I've speeded this up because you can get the picture quite clearly and this tutorial is too long anyway um, so spread it all out and you need it to go all the way around the body and so that's the base color and then you're putting your shimmer color on top and it doesn't have to be as long the shimmer color felt along the top so it holds together gently peel it off and then you're going to get rid of the arms and you're going to do it inside out so to say so start felting around the front and then you can turn it around the back and felt it all the way around it's a little bit tricky but this will have a lovely nice secure nice effect skirt so make sure you've gone all the way around and it's definitely all attached at the right point it does look a bit messy when you first turn it a little bit of smoothing I thought I was going to need a needle to sort of smooth it out but it was absolutely fine it's not a problem and then if you've got any gaps I had a gap with the shimmer just there at the front you see do it now before we add the plaited waist so that it gets covered up and see I just popped popped that in felted it in and it was fine you can cover up gaps and now we're just going to take whatever color you're going to do split it into three strands and then felt the top of it so it stays together and I left that in so it held it and then just plait it and obviously it's going to get thinner as you go further round but it doesn't notice because that end bit will be round the back so just keep it quite thick um, as you go down and then pop it on and we're going to felt it in behind it's a little bit chunky but you can do it with a, with a needle it's not too bad and cut any ends off if you don't want them sometimes I just point them downwards but this is all going to be covered up so there we go that's looking really pretty now the hair I was going to do blonde and do a line there but she didn't look right the locks looked so good so get your locks try and get the same lengths all together and then we're going to attach it with a middle parting so it'll end up like that but you're going to flip them over and attach them underneath and then flip them back to form the parting so you'll see in a minute I'm doing a line down the middle and I've got the long bits you'll see at the side and then just felt those short end bits in they'll be underneath and then flip the long bits back over and you've got your middle parting and that's the hair that's going to go down and then this is doing the other side so try and get them right together there we go flip them back and you've got a lovely middle parting and you're going to have to felt um, the hair down a bit so it stays on the head and at the back you just do very similar fill it in and then flip it down and then oh bad hair day um, take that and then felt it all down into shape so that works really well and then it all stays in place and you've got the ribbon coming out the top because these fairies need to be hung so for flowers I just twisted 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 some a little tiny strand of merino if you keep twisting it it folds back on itself into a little bundle 
and it kind of looks quite sweet. You guys are really creative. I'm sure you can come up with some amazing flowers and decorations for these fairies. So please do go for it. And then I just popped it in the hair and you just felt it in. Um, it just gives a little bit of detail. Um, I tried some other bits and bobs and then I put one just above the belt, but you could do loads more. You could put some on the dress. I also put a different colour in the hair just to give it a bit of a pop. So um, that was just twisting it in on itself. And there we go. So this is the Angelina fibres. This is Violet Pearl. This is 10 grams in this bag. So you, you need a tiny amount for doing the wings. So this will last you quite a long time. And you put it on baking paper because you're going to iron it. And you spread it out nice and thinly in the shape of roughly it, of the wings. So like I said, you can see I don't need much at all. That's the wings shape there. And then you're going to fold the paper over, take it. I took it downstairs and then I ironed it. So once over with the iron and you need the iron on silk setting, you do not want to burn this. So literally once over and have a look. And it's a, it's like magic. It really is. It produces this material um, and it's so fine and the you can get Angelina fibre in all different colours as well. This is just the violet, sort of the the pearly colour. So I did a slightly thicker pair just so because I did two fairies in the end. Um, and you can see that's a little bit thicker. Look at that. Look at the colour <laughs> through. It's just so bizarre. And to make the um, shape, I folded it in half didn't even use a template just cut a little fairy shape wing out of it absolutely perfect you know really easy I definitely recommend you think it's a bit of a faff but it so isn't and it lasts I mean you just need a tiny bit and this one I did a serrated edge to it so there we go if you don't have Angelina fiber take some merino and just put it into a fairy wing shape uh, felt one end really closely gently felt the back really gently and then there you go you pretty much have fairy wings so glue was the best way to attach them I've heard you can felt them on but that didn't work for me um, so a bit of glue and it worked really well it's a bit a bit messy so let it dry and there we go so I was really really pleased with them in the end and I'm definitely going to do some more 10% discount code is in the description below and a massive thank you to Heidi Feathers for sponsoring this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will link the smooth finish video. Thanks for watching everybody and we really hope to see you again soon. Take care.